Hello, Zach here. To be able to get to the point where we can print large swords like these, we need to be able to support the prints as they roll off the end of the bed. So let me show you the design that I came up with. In Fusion 360 I did a very simple design using working planes, extrusions and cuts. I then mirrored the part around the plane in the middle and then made the holes for the bearings to mount in. So here's the printed parts. The one goes on the, that side, the other one on this side and I simply use T-slot nuts to mount them onto the, um, the aluminium extrusion beams. The roller is from an old printer and it's got bearings on the ends. The one bearing is small, smaller than the other one. I just push fit the bearings into the plastic parts. And I insert the T-slot nut for the left mount. At this point I realized that the distance between the printed parts is a bit wider than I needed. So I used a heat gun to heat up the printed parts and just bend them in slightly to hold the bearings in place again, tightly against the roller. I used an aluminium extrusion to line up the roller with the uh, mirror. I had an assistant hold the uh, aluminum extrusion flat on the mirror and then I just simply on both sides moved the roller mount up and down. It looks like it will support something like a sword very nicely. So I actually haven't printed a big sword like this successfully yet. Eagle Eye subscribers will notice that on my belt I've got some painter's tape. I damaged my belt by printing at 240 to 50 degrees. I was trying to print nylon and that actually damaged the belt. So I'm getting a new one from my brother. I printed this sword in vase mode on this belt printer, but it cracked and fell off the end of the bed. So it wasn't very successful. I will try this print again now that I've got a support roller at the end of the bed. Thanks for all the support and comments. Please keep them coming.